Hey everybody, it's Jonathan, and we have a lot of questions about how to put text on images and make it work. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the model. I'm going to show you today a surefire way to put text on images. And I do that using Canva and Midjourney. So I'm going to go ahead and create an image. So we have, we're almost ready to celebrate 200,000 visit, visitors, members in our Facebook group. And I want to go ahead and, and make a graphic about that for a post. So you can see I'm in uh, Midjourney here. I'm in my server and I'm going to type in 3D cartoon animation with the number 200,000 plus exploding out of a box to celebrate our 200,000 members inspired by Disney, Blender, Render normal stuff and you can see here if we take a look uh, yeah it didn't do what I wanted it gave us 220 200 obviously yeah not not what I was looking for it didn't pay attention so I thought you know what I'll try once again because mid journey is continuing to improve and maybe just maybe I can get the number I want and as you can see uh, still no cigar here uh, total failure didn't get me what I wanted so I like the idea of the exploding box and everything else, so I thought, let's go ahead and let's create an image of balloons exploding out of a box. And this I liked. We got somewhere. In fact, I really like number three. There's different styles here. But I realized I created it in an aspect ratio of four by three, and I want this graphic to be a square graphic so I can use it on Instagram and others. So I went ahead, once I picked that image, I expanded it here. You can see I went ahead and did that. And then in uh, mid journey I clicked make square I still use discord to do this I'm so used to doing it I like it better uh, plus I'm on my own private server so I think it still has value and you can see I went ahead and got four images and here's the one that I chose that I like so we're going to use this one now to put graphics on top of now all I want is the number 200,000 so this should be really really simple but let's take a look and see how we're going to do this I'm going to go over to canva you can see here I'm in Canva. I'm going to go ahead and create a new social media, and we're going to create an Instagram post because it'll be square, and that's what I want. And here we are. So super easy. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my graphic. Let's try that again here. There we go. I got it. I did it twice there. I'm now just going to resize this by dragging it up and putting this in. I could have dragged it as the background too. So uh, if you're watching, yes, there's other ways I can do that. But now the really cool thing is I can go ahead and I can bring in graphics and things like that that I want. So for example, I'm going to go back here and we're going to look for the graphic on the AI group. So AI, uh, what am I calling it? Um, logo maybe? I don't know. Let's look under my projects. See if it pops up here. Not popping up there. So let's look up AI Mastermind. That's probably where I have it. There it is. There's my graphics file. So you can see I've got multiple files here. And we're going to pull this up underneath our prompting mastery. Um, there's a diff different groups that we can put it in. Grab that graphic. I'm going to go ahead over here. And I'm just going to paste that back in here. Let's try that again. Don't know if I pressed the right keys. We'll try that and go again. Yeah, we're definitely having problems getting that to paste over. So let's go ahead and copy. Sometimes my sh keyboard shortcuts don't work the way I want them to. There we go. And just like that, I've got that in here. So I can go ahead and move this down. I don't want the logo to be too big, but I'd like it to be on here. So we'll go ahead and just put it down here in the corner. Make sure it's reasonably balanced. And then I want to add in the number 200,000. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a heading. And we're simply going to type in 200,000, and I'll put a plus sign behind it. Now, I do want this to be a little bit uh, brighter, so I'm going to go ahead and make this white text. But even with white text, it may not stand out the way I want. So I'm going to go up into Effects here, and I'm going to add an outline to it. And we're going to, instead of adding a gray outline, I'm going to add one of my outlines. Let's see, maybe even something from the image here. We don't have anything showing up, so we'll grab one of my brand colors here. Let's go ahead and grab just the dark blue for now and then we're going to go ahead and decide how thick we want that but we'll come back to that in a minute I'm going to make this bigger so I'm just going to click on this and drag it and notice just that fast I can drag it I didn't get my outline so we're going to go back to effects here real quick and I'm going to try that again and grab a different color there we go now I got it in my dark blue and I want to make this even bigger so we've noticed we've got some guidelines here with uh, Canva, there's it snapped to that guy there. We'll do the same thing over here. There we go. And I'm going to put this right in the middle. You can see the lines pop up there to let me know I'm right in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and create one more 
header text here, so I'll go back to text, click heading again, and we're going to put celebrating. And I'm going to put that all in capital letters. And let's go back to white again. And we'll see how that shows up if I just drag that up here. It's going to show up better because of where we're at. I can do my font size as well if I want to increase this. So we'll do a drop down here. Let's go ahead and make this 72. There we go. Notice it's all nice and centered and I can drag it around and it snaps right to the grid here. So we're good. And if I want that to show up a little better, maybe I go to Effects, and instead of doing the outline, I could lift that. Puts just a little bit of background behind it. Helps make sure that it that pops that just a little bit. We'll even max it out there. Get a little bit of shadow behind that. And just like that, I've now got my image that I want. So that's how I do it, and that's how I recommend I'm going to move this up just a little bit because I want it a little higher. There we go. So instead of trying to get AI to do this for me perfectly, we're going to do this right here. I can save this image, and you'll see it in a post in just a minute. Hope this is helpful of how I like to add text. I think it's much easier than trusting AI to do it. Use AI to create the background graphic, and then use Canva or a tool like that to add your text. Make it a great day, everybody.